dihe kwa mume ihe na dihe kwa mume ihe na dihe kwa mume kone me and i will announce to you today we are now fighting them back and we will continue to fight them back How we pick up arms to fight back. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> we are panicking. Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. Every time we have banana munition, I tell you the truth. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I don't care. Who I will be. I have not just. I will. I have become your last bus stop and said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until Biafra come. Ichigo Muno, Baki, Baki, Emo, Munu, Nini, Te, Ana, Messi, Nini, Te, Munu, Dano, Nini, Te, Ana, Asu, until Biafra come. And what we want to make abundantly clear is that we are warning everybody who is a stakeholder in the zoo about our determination and our resolve to ensure that our land is defended. This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. Exhaust your energy. Chukwokukabiam is in charge. If you are speaking the truth, you will be autopiloted and the world will be in you. What you will say, what you will respond, your answers will be in you. That is why Mazisa Monepa is, is making, a, making a wave. Every blackmail against him is a promotion. Go online, you see blackmail. Different, today, they have. when I saw the one, the tweet I saw that somebody posted, I think it's Koiki, Koiki that re re revealed that tweet. Where they went and used the name of our, the wife of our spring Lamaz Nandeka. They used the name of his wife, begin to tweet and talk all manner of trash against him and Mazin Nandeka. And after talking, they use they Photoshop the 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 tweet of of uh, Mazin Samanepa and they tagged it to Mazin Samanepa. It was Mazin Samanepa tweeted it. Mazin Samanepa have a verified tweet account, a verified Twitter account. Go there and verify and see what is that. A verified Twitter account. But yet you see people pushing propaganda with them. That's why I urge everybody, if you are a member of IPOB, if you're an indigenous person, you are a Biafran, you have to follow Mazi Simon Epa on his Twitter handle. Simon Epa on Twitter. Go and follow him. Follow him so that you can see whenever he tweets. And know when you see a tweet, they say Simon Epa tweeted, you go and check if you will find it in his verified handle. Go and find out. Don't just believe any trash you see on the Facebook. Don't just believe any trash you see anywhere. Don't just believe it. Make verification. I tell you, more black men are going to come. But every one of them is going to fall like when you pour water on the rock. It will just flow down. It will just fall off. It doesn't matter the propaganda they bring their black men. They can never, ever be a match to the dragon. They are gone and gone forever. And they will never rise again. They are gone and gone forever. Every single one of them that is standing there as a stumbling block to the freedom of the Biafran people will definitely, definitely be destroyed. They will be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Blackmail cannot help you. Propaganda cannot help you. And I say it again. If you know that you have exhausted yourself in this very struggle, you have nothing to offer anymore, all you got to do is to quietly step aside. Quietly step aside. If you don't step aside, you will be destroyed beyond, beyond measure and nobody will remember you. But when you step aside, a time will come when your page will be open and you will still be remembered. If you have played your own role, maybe you were one of those who were pushing the propaganda against the ginger weed when it was time. You were one of those who pushed the propaganda against the Biafran government, against the uh, Nigerian government. 
you push the propaganda and now to this day the whole world begin to listen to the Biafran people you are very good at propaganda that your time have passed we are in a time where you bring facts because the world is paying attention the whole world is paying attention to what is going on in Biafra land today and we are entering a stage when a stage where the whole world will be there to watch and see what is happening it is not a time for propaganda it's a time for facts they would like to see the facts show us areas and you see all the information that master simon ever have been bringing all this while having evidence based evidence based and he has even said it that he has not started revealing the secret things he knows about this idea for every single exposition he has made so far they are all things in the public from the things he has said with his tongue the things he have said by himself, they are the things that Master Simon Emperor is throwing at his face to defend. And he has not been able to defend any single one. He has not been able to put defense for any single one. The murder he committed against the ESN commander, he couldn't be able to answer it. He denied an ESN commander that was in his home. He denied him. And he began to call him a personal aide. When we know that he's not his personal aide, and he asked me why is he denying? Why is he denying? Why? Why would you deny? Of course, by then nobody knew where they were going. Nobody knew that it was all clearing the ground to kidnap Mazin Nandekan. They were all watering the ground for the kidnap of Mazin Nandekan. Every exposition that Mazin Samara commented, they are all in the public. He couldn't answer those questions. He has not even started opening up the, the secret cans. The secret cans of Ifani Jofo. We are only dealing with the things we can see. The things we have heard directly from him. And he's already crying and shouting all along. He's already intensifying, telling his era to begin to push propaganda. Begin to edit and edit, re-edit tweets. This is how low, how low you can get. That's how low you can go. But I tell you, the dragon is indestructible. IPOB autopilot has come to stay. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's either you join the moving train or you jump out of it and die. Join the moving train. If you know you can't handle the heat, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Allow those who can be able to handle the heat to go. As for the corner of Biafra in 101 days, it will happen. It will have it doesn't matter whether you agree or you don't agree and by the way if you do not agree that Biafra will come why must you be troubling yourself about it why don't you relax follow your own way you now that has a template on how to bring Biafra why don't you focus on your own why are you not focusing on the person that said that Biafra will come I saw one of the idiots one of their irats one of their clown the one that always imitated Master Simon Eka. the one that always went Master Simon Eka, wear cap he wear cap Master Simon Eka, will sit on chair you sit on chair Master Simon Eka, drink water he will drink Master Simon Eka, someone ever use cup and drink water he will do, will do the same thing that one that cannot be able to, to identify himself to with whom he is. That one that is even ashamed of his own self. That is why he's imitating my son. He, can, he, doesn't, he can't even find whom he is. And he called himself an agitator. I saw one of the videos he was posting. I was saying that my son was saying that uh, Biafra will come. How can you say Biafra will come? That will, he said he would destroy Nigeria. He would destroy Nigeria. That what he would do is destroy Nigeria. Biafra is not going to come in 2023. Absolute nonsense. That is how confused they are. Mazen Nandekano himself said that Biafra, the zoo will be destroyed in 2022. With his own mouth. The video is still out there. That the Zoological Republic will be destroyed in 2022. Mazen Nandekano said it. And he didn't miss what. And that word he said is what is happening today. Are you not seeing the destruction of the zoo? And it's going to increase. Before the end of 2022, you will see it clear that the zoo will be no more. And in 2023, we will move into Biafra. How can somebody who claims to be a Biafra, who needs the freedom like I need, maybe they don't need the freedom the way I need it. Because if you need the freedom that I need, the way I need the freedom, if you hear that anybody wants to bring freedom, you will be happy. And so even if I wake up tomorrow and I hear that one of these idiots is bringing the freedom, I will be happy. Bring it faster. Go and bring it. Bring it. What matters is that freedom. 
not when you hear that your brother is going to bring freedom, you are mocking him and you say, it's not going to happen. How is it going to happen? He's not going to bring the freedom. Now, Biafra will not come. Why would such a mouth come out from your mouth that Biafra will not come? The message that's supposed to be coming out of it is that Biafra will come tomorrow. Not even in 101 days. Biafra will come tomorrow. That is what you're supposed to be confessing in your mouth. That Biafra, tomorrow will be Biafra. Every day you're supposed to be expecting Biafra to come. But instead of you confessing the coming of Biafra, you are busy. Coming your platform and you say Biafra will not come in 2023. And you say it, you are happy. You say you are making this position. And are you exposing him? A man that is here telling you that the zoo will be destroyed. And it will be shown. And the, and the greatest thing is that after destroying the zoo, yet Biafra will stay calm. After destroying the zoo, Biafra will stay calm. For the destruction of the zoo, the destruction is, 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 is something that cannot be avoided. The destruction of Nigeria is something that cannot be avoided. It must happen. But the greatest thing is that after we have destroyed that Nigeria, Biafra will emerge. And that destruction is coming. You heard my say that. And you are playing that video. You are mocking me. You say, if Biafra will not come, that what will happen is that he wants to destroy this. He wants to destroy Nigeria. He only wants to destroy Nigeria. After destroying Nigeria, that's the only thing he wants. Biafra cannot come uh, 2023. Biafra will not come 2023. Madman, and you call yourself an agitator, and you call yourself an agitator. Are you not a mad, a mad person? You are insane. You are insane. You don't know your left and right. That is why you are speaking in that man. Because if you know your left and right, even if you don't believe that Biafra will come in 101 days, you have to be serious and focus on your own direction. That one you know, you that system you think you can use to bring Biafra, you work harder on it, focus on it and work harder. So that even if your brother misses it in 101 days, you will capture it. That is what is supposed to be your fate. What you should have told yourself that if my, if he, my brother cannot bring Biafra in 101 days, I, I'm going to bring it. That should be what you've been not saying in your heart. Not to say, it will not happen, it will not come. But of course, because we are dealing with animals, clowns, who has no other agenda than to use the Biafran struggle as a career. What do they have to offer? Nothing. Nothing. They have nothing to offer. That is why you see them crying everywhere. They are crying. Crying so, so they can't even hide their shame anymore. You saw the video I posted before I came online. We had that idiot was crying. He said, I don't know what, the, I don't know the kind of person this man is. I don't know where, where this man is coming from. If you hold him from here, he will go here. He will go from here. You can't even stop him. You, how can you stop a moving train? How? How can you stop a moving train? You can't stop a moving train. It will continue to move. The more you make a, uh, make a step to stop him, the more you destroy yourself. The more you make step to destroy him, the more you destroy yourself. You can't stop a moving train. Master Simon Epa have made it open that anything that stands on the way of Biafra will be crushed. And you think it's a joke. Go and stand on the way of Biafra. Stand on the way of Biafra and see if you will survive. Everyone that has stood on his way have disappeared. And I tell you, the only way for you to survive is to be focused. Focus and look at the right path. You're yeah, welcome, my brother Mania Tech. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Some time ago, I misunderstood you on your contribution. I'm still apologizing, Mania Tech. I apologize. I misunderstood you that time. I thank God that I was able to make that correction at that time when those uh, informations were coming. I was uh, I read it wrongly and I made a wrong statement. Then I still apologize. Thank you so much for joining Mania Tech. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. You are right. You are right, Mania Tech. Simon defended the US. Of course he did. He defended the Department of Civil War. He defended them. Even when they cancelled the, the, the seat at home, Simon Epa was with them. He said, they have cancelled it too. The same as Nan can say, they say, they say, they say, they say, they say, they but for the fact that the Biafran people now chose a different path that they will continue to follow up, what do we have to do? We follow up. That was exactly what my Simon Epa said. Father Simon Epa also defended the Idu woman. That Idu Jezebel, he defended her, defended her to the last. 
People hated him. There are some groups that are still fighting man some of them today because of that Idu, Idu man. Only because of that they are still fighting man some of them. But man some of them, as I said, he doesn't pick up a fight when it is not the right time. He was waiting until when the time is ripe and the informations are complete. And then when he opened his mouth and speak about her, she disappeared completely. And that was her end. That was you can't there is no way you can make her relevant anymore again. There's no recovery. Once the dragon faces you, you can never recover. The same thing with the Southeastern politicians, exactly. He defended them. Even before we entered into the real stage, he talked about there was a day he came online. He said, Every politician we should forgive them, wipe their slate clean. Forgive all of them, wipe their slate clean. Anyone that begins to do good things, we will promote them and we will support them and we will never give them out to the enemy. He said that on his broadcast. But after saying that, the the southeast governors now and politicians they now intensify in their evil they increase their evil and he came after them he gave them their their, their own lowdown the same thing this he fired you know exactly the same thing he defended him took an enemy to took blood for him created an enemy because of him but when the time he was matured when the time was right it wasn't that the, it wasn't because he didn't know what was happening. He knew he has all the information, but he wants the time to be ripe. And that is one of the reasons why I love him. His mental toughness, his patience is one of the reasons why I love Master Simon ever so much. I love him, I love him to a fault. His patience, his mental toughness, that is why I love him. He has to he, he, no matter how long it, it will take, he will wait. He will wait until that time is right. Push him up. You can't force him to do things when he can't push. So many times he has been pushed. Go and check. Every attack against my Simon Epa from A to Z, they have always been because people wanted him to do what he doesn't want to do. What was they wanted him to do things in their own way when the time wasn't right. That is why many people are fighting him. Every fight you see against my Simon was because they were pushing him to pick up a fight that wasn't the right time to fight. Every single go and check every attack against my son, whatever it is always because of one thing or the other because they were pushing him to go into something was not right, they put the time was not right, and he has never fallen into that trap. He will wait, he will wait and wait and wait until when the time is right. There was a time, even this, this he do, he do, he do, he do criminal when they came together and they wanted to make my son, ever the leader. They did a vote. I was watching them live. When they did a vote, they vote. After the vote, they say everybody vote. We want to make somebody go. Somebody go leader. After their vote, they told someone. Someone else said, "I am not the leader of IPOB. Mazen Nandekano is the leader. You can't change him. Mazen Nandekano remains the leader. Any place, even if he's in DSS or whatever, that Mazen Nandekano remains the leader of IPOB." They did that vote. Which they, I don't know whether they have did the video. In before the whole war, they did a vote. Everybody was telling Mazen Simon Epa will be the leader. Let Mazen Epa be the next leader. The next leader. He told them, I don't want that leadership. This is not about the leadership. It is about Mazen Epa. Mazen Epa can remain the leader of IPOB. But every one of us, anything we can do to make sure that he's being freed, we do it. And he escaped that very, that very trap. And still, still, they couldn't have it. They continued to attack him from all angles, from all corners. From all corners. From no corner they attack him for no just cause and because they don't learn from other people's mistake they want it to happen to them if these people were sensible and they learn from other people see my sister Monica has said it do not fight me oh do not fight me if you fight me if you fight me biafra people will come after you the spirit of biafra will destroy you he won and won and won and won still they will not listen because they are meant to be destroyed he warned them and warned them. They will never listen. Several times he warned, they will never listen. But today, the time has come. The time has come. Those who have chosen to destroy themselves will definitely be allowed to destroy themselves. Are you going to blame anybody for that? You don't blame anybody for that. It is their own portion they have chosen. And so be it. So be it. May Chukwu Kukai be my guide and protect everybody that have joined me on this broadcast. I said it was going to be a very short broadcast, but I think we have exceeded the time that we planned to stay. But all the same, it's all for good. Anything for Biafra. I don't program myself or I can't time myself. 
target myself on how to I go all the way until whenever I exhaust what is in my mind and I believe I have made some little sense today to my fellow beer friends have it at the mind of your mind if you are a genuine beer fan forget about the blackmail every blackmail against us is a promotion any blackmail against the autopilot group is a promotion every blackmail against man Simon Epa is a promotion every blackmail against man Nandekano is a promotion just have it in your mind so don't bother yourself about the blackmails all i can tell you follow Mazen Simon Epa on his twitter so you will know when he tweeted and when he did not tweet so when you see a tweet they say Mazen Simon Epa said you will be able to find out you go and scroll and see if you can find such tweet there if you don't see it in his handle that means he wasn't the one that said it because they have gone crazy and they are doing all manner of photoshop different kinds of photoshop but we don't care we don't care they have done worse than that before today they are fighting like people have lost it and they have lost it really they can never stand again i appreciate everybody who has been participating on this very broadcast thank you so much for joining wherever you join from I say, may you go be my guide and protect you. I will do our brothers, my Biafran brothers, the Middle Beltans, everybody, everybody that is genuinely fighting for freedom. Any place you are coming from, I say, may you go be my guide and protect you, secure you, give you strength and power to continue to wax up. Every one of us will get into Biafra, alive, not dead. We will get into Biafra. In 101 days, we will get into Biafra. We all live to lift that very flag of Biafra with Mazen Nandekan. I will not stop. May Chukwu Kukadia my guide and protect every one of you. Secure the Umwada for us. Guide and protect Hodra Razoka. Guide and protect our ESN. Secure them. ESN phone raising is coming up on Saturday. Don't forget. The ESN phone raising, mega phone raising is coming on Saturday. Please participate. Prepare yourself for that phone raising. Play your own role. Participate the best way you can. Any contribution you can make, please do so. This is the time your phone is needed. We are heading into a very critical time. It is a time that your, your fund is highly needed. Support the ESN. Support the best. Don't even wait until the day of the, the, the fundraising. Just go there. You will, see the, you will see the flyer on my platform. Go there. Check the website from the website. Look at the website carefully. Carefully from the website. Anything you have, your widow's mind, make that donation through that very website. And it will get to the ESN. Your penny, your cobble can save a life play a role every one of us has something to do and we got to continue to do everything we can to save our lives it is a matter of life and death may you go be my guide and protect our spokesperson master simon ever secure him give him more wisdom knowledge and understanding may you go be my continue to guide and protect our supreme leader master nandekano secure him protect him and keep him for us thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from and remember i will see you again by 5 p.m. Biafra time on my YouTube channel. If you have time, please join me. 5 p.m. At most by 5.15, I will be there. Join me. Let us continue this message. Getting across to everybody. Reaching out to all Biafrans on the way forward. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Bye-bye. See you again. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand on the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to make to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price okay the only thing you can do is to comment on social media don't ever stand on the way of biafra freedom we crush you their interest is suppressed biafra is the key once they can hold biafra down they can hold all of africa down <laughs> hey freedom fighting sorry because all these people are criminals they are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am an Nam Dekano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man. Not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. 
We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. Take <laughs> everywhere. We must continue.